Chevy 1500 with street tires that are pretty worn down already with a couple little pit lights, dirt lights in the back end of it. Um, we'll see how it goes. I see a flat tire in our future. I don't know if he has a spare. So, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. About a week ago, it was up over this barn right here on the right where we did the radio. Take the roundabout. Take the second exit onto US Highway. Holy Street. cow! That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, all that was out was about three feet of the roof. No kidding, dude. You're about to take that curb out. Neck. Did you say no, but it looks like it was only two inches away from it. I can do a lot with two inches, friend. In 2.9 miles, turn right onto US Highway. Ah, roger that. that. Proceed to shut your mouth. Okay, so we've just made it down here into these bottoms. I don't know if I really need to be in four wheel drive. But we're gonna go ahead. And Tyler just shifted his truck into four wheel low. And uh, like I said, his tires aren't the best or anything like that on this thing. So we'll we'll see how we get and where we get. And, um, I don't, honestly, I mean, we might air down, but his tires are in such bad shape that you may not be able to get them aired up. So, anyway, could get fun. Maybe not, but you'll see if it does. Hey, we should have, uh, we should have got out and did some walk-down video of Tyler's truck.
go over there? I can run around this side. No. Thanks, Kenny, bud. Don't tear your mirrors off. So we're only about a half a mile into this trail and he's already bottomed out several times uh, pretty good he's just too long and and uh, not enough ground clearance so this, it's not like an off-roading truck it's literally like a work truck so we'll see where we can get i have a feeling this day is going to end with me towing him and then uh, figuring out what to do from there you said you wanted to walk. Yes. Probably more than So we made it down here to the bottom where the big spring is and there's a big oak tree down here that you can pretty much circle around and we decided we're going to circle around that oak tree it was just lightly sprinkling and try to have some lunch and of course as soon as we get circled around and we all get out to eat it starts pouring rain so now we've loaded back up and we're going to continue riding for a little longer we did meet up with the rest of our groups we got two more jeeps in the pack now and uh we're gonna cruise for a little while until it's nice enough to stop again, and then we'll kind of stop and say hi to everybody and get out and mingle for a little bit. So we'll stop just as soon as we can with the rain and get some more video. There's a big spring hole right there on your right, so watch that rear tire. Don't get it down in there. Right. Am I going to be able to make it through this? Oh, yeah. You can make it through this creek. Just take it slow because you don't know what rocks are under there. <laughs> That's funny looking, man. You look like a big old pontoon boat bouncing across there. I got shit falling out of my freaking cubby hole up top all over everybody. <laughs>
Hold on, guys. No, I don't know. It's gonna be tough for him. Wish we had video of it. I know that. You gotta get out and get the. Well, you can't hear. He's done. Yeah, I was trying to fix it. You want to wheel it in straight for me while yeah. I wheel it? It needs to go in back on this side a lot. So we've been down here in these uh, bottoms and you can see we got some footage. Tyler got his truck stuck so I had to winch him out but it's not a good day at all for trying to get video. Um, every time we get out even just for a few minutes you can see we just get soaked and the camera equipment gets wet and we have to get it cleaned off and the fog builds up. And so we're going to do our best that we can here but more than likely we're not going to have a whole lot of good shots. It's mostly going to be dash cam and uh, GoPro footage. So, uh, you know, be warned. Yeah, I'll buy that swimming hole. It's or, kind of narrow at that corner. Or is this the one that goes on up? Uh, you know where that big rut is in the road? This one goes by the <laughs> Get the green horns. Give them the Jeep side. Hold on.
Watch this log here. You guys make it to that big mud hole yet? Yeah, we just went through it. See if we can look out, she's gonna fall in the mud hole. <laughs> She almost fell in that big muddle. It was pulling her down. So this has been a pretty good day to ride. The rain's cleared up, but the trails are still soggy and muddy. We used to pray for days like this when we had four wheelers. That way we could go riding the day after and not have to worry about dust. Being in these off-road rigs like this sure has made it nice. I wanna give a little shout out to Kenzie cause I know you've been wanting to tag along for one of these videos. We'll get you in the next one soon. Wish you could have been here with us. So we've come back up the other side of this hill here now, came out of the bottoms, and uh, we've kind of gotten flexy in some areas, and Tyler's old truck's doing pretty good, actually. Uh, <laughs> even though it's a lot longer, and it has no clearance, no flex, no suspension travel, he's just kind of roughing it through here and taking you know, just the right lines. Um, so I tell you, I'm excited for this guy to get a Jeep because he knows how to drive and uh, we get him in a jeep that's capable and we can go out and hit some really good trails so stay tuned here we're going to get to the top of this uh, hill and there's a big watchtower up here that you can kind of see out over all these uh ozark hills here in arkansas so hang in there with us you want to say something nope okay <laughs> sure yeah Kyle, you gonna say something Clara will say something. Clara, say something to the viewers. Subscribe. 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 All right, we'll see you.
Yep, just stay on it. All these little different routes, they just go around obstacles, so they all go to the same place. Uh, you're going to want to stay to the right on the next obstacle. It goes right around into the woods. There's a big rock right in the middle of the trail. It looks really flexy on the left and on the right. It looks like it goes up into the woods. You want to go right. Actually, in that same subdivision that we got a house in, it, yeah. there's one up the street that sold for one seventy nine nine, and it sold within thirty days. So yeah, we listed. I listed my house. Well, it would be nice to him. How old are you? Yeah, we'll buy. You got an Yeah. So if you got to hit that rock around here, and then appraised when I bought it for one hundred thirty thousand. There's a deer coming your way. Wait, this is the real road? <laughs> this is the actual real road? Uh, yes. We're done with the trail. No. So we're going down here to Willie Lee Campground. Uh, pretty much all around in here, off of this road, you can camp. It's all primitive, obviously, you're stick camping. Uh, and this is actually where we deer hunt a lot of the time. Um, so basically anywhere off of this blade top trail, you can deer hunt and camp um, during deer season. So we're pulling this Willie Lee Campground right now. So 
there's an old amphitheater up here on uh, the right side of the Blade Top Trail going east. And uh, I believe there's a pavilion there, maybe some other stuff. So I think we're going to go up here. And we never really got a chance to eat um, because it started raining on us. So we're going to take shelter probably there. And then that way if the rain clouds do come back in, we're covered. And uh, we're going to eat some food. I guess you could call it like a half of a lunch or something because we had half down at the bottom of the hill. So that's our plan. So stay tuned. Seats everywhere. Okay. Hey, you want to show me this down here? Uh huh. I've been down here before. Yeah. I was just choking on this. Okay, get on the steps. Okay, so we're wrapping up our trip down here at the uh, Nash Martin National Forest on the south side of Missouri on the Arkansas border. And uh, it's been a pretty easy going day. Um, we've switched some riders out. We no longer have Mason in here. Now we have Iris. This is Tyler's daughter. And you might see her in a little vlog if she did. I don't know. We'll have to check it out and see how good it is. If it's good, then we'll put it on here. Put it on anyway if it's not good. Okay, if it's not good, we might put it on too. So anyway, we're closing out the trip. We're back on the road. We're aired up. We're on the highway. And uh, we're going to go get some coffee. It's been a long day. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. And please don't forget to drop us a like if you liked the video. Like it. If you didn't like the video, then, Still like it. Then, then subscribe to our channel and maybe you'll like the next one. You don't have to like this one. Stay tuned. Thanks again for being a viewer. Stay tuned.